Sorry. And the underlying well, side. Confirm then. what you already knew, Kyo. The commander is gone. Yeah. You know he did the right thing, though. The civilians needed us. The commander sent Vanguard where we were needed most. Of course. This is what he fought for. That's why it hurts so much. Whatever happens next, this is the end of the line. I just wanted to say, I know we haven't flown together very long, but if I'm being honest, it feels like you've always been here. Aww. I speak for everyone in Vanguard when I say, it's been a pleasure fighting beside you. I know we have a mission, but we also have each other to lean on and to protect. You've got my back out there, and I have yours, no matter what. Okay, General Sindula is waiting for us in the briefing room. Shall we? Hmm, I wonder what this will be then. I'm sorry that our first real meeting is under such tragic circumstances. We're all feeling Lyndon's loss. But we're cornered. You and Vanguard have held back the Imperials, but we must get those civilian engineers out safely. I need you focused and ready to go. Lyndon saw you as a leader, an inspiration even. That's the courage I need right now. Let's get you and the others briefed. There isn't much time. Mm -hmm. Thanks to your work on the Comsats, Anvil Squadron heard our call. And with Lyndon Javes bought us time to repair our ships for escape. But now the Imperial fleet has Anvil's ships pinned down. They can't get out. So we're going back into the fight. Because we need to buy everyone time to escape. No one left behind. Ardo thinks we have one chance. It's drastic. But here it is. The moon is highly unstable. And the Imperial ships are positioned around it. If we crash the Starhawk into the moon's core, the shockwave should destroy those Imperial ships and let us escape, if we're fast. How? The ship's tractor beam is firing uncontrollably as it overloads. If we can get a couple of corvettes into that beam, we can tow it up to speed. Vanguard Squadron, you're up first. We're counting on you to clear the path and take out the closest star destroyer. Corvettes will then enter the tractor beam, and if Ardo's plan works, get the Starhawk moving. It should have a straight oh, shot. Oh, great. So you're going to have to take out the Star Destroyer in first? In case the oh. Imperials get wise to what we're doing. When Ugh. the Starhawk collides with that moon, the shockwave will hit every Imperial ship in range. And you, unless you outrun it. It's risky. But sacrificing the Starhawk will save our fleet. And the engineers who will build the next one. And the next. The future of the New Republic depends on it. Let's finish this. I say the Storhawk is pretty shit though, because the only thing it does is tractor beam it, and they can still escape though if the light speed jump. So seems pretty much a useless ship. You should know, Lyndon always speaks. Spoke highly of you. He never forgot what you did for him at Fostar Haven. I know war takes its toll. Even when the Imperials attacked Moncala, I had to keep my head. But Lyndon was a friend. He knew exactly what he was doing when he challenged Teresa. Doesn't make it any easier. The Overseer has fallen back, but the other Imperial ships still have us pinned down. You and Vanguard are our last chance. I believe in you, but more importantly, I believe in Vanguard Squadron. Lyndon bought us time. I know you'll all make it count. Get to your ship. Every moment matters now. We were able to evacuate all personnel from the Starhawk. Engineers, technicians, mechanics. We took a big loss today. Those who died at Nadiri. Lyndon. It won't be in vain. So long as we survive, so does Project Starhawk. And with it, the future of the New Republic. 
Fortunately, the Imperials didn't seize control of Nadiri. They were too busy chasing us off. I've already sent Meteor and Hail Squadrons to secure the dockyards. Now all we have to do is make it out of here. To your fighter. There isn't much time. Mm-hmm. I wonder what's in those things that goes behind her head. Those two things. Does the brain grows there or are they hiding some hair in it or what? Or oh, just empty. Come on, look at me. I'm not scared. Like two big tentacles we'll going out to their head. But... How do you know? Because we never let each other down. That's why. So, after we pull this off, because we will, what are you going to do? This isn't the end of the war, Frisk. It's just one more battle. Yeah, but we've earned ourselves a whole pile of day passes. You ever been to the last hand on Nar Shadda? Best cantina in the Outer Rim. What a relief. For a moment there, I thought you were taking this seriously. It's strange where conscience leads you. It took me from being a daughter of Imperial lackeys all the way to this tipping point. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss my family. Regardless of their loyalties, they are still my parents. My sister. But in Vanguard Squadron, I found a family I could stand beside proudly until the very end. Whatever happens next will be our legacy. And I'm proud to share it with both of you. <sighs> You, Gunny, Kyo, you're all acting like this is the end. Am I the only one who remembers we're Vanguard Squadron? We have to survive. The galaxy ain't gonna save itself. Let's go! Ain't every day you crash a Starhawk into the moon. So, uh, like a pep talk, huh? I don't know what else to talk to. Nope. Prepare for launch. You'll need to be flying your best for this one. X-Wing, Y-Wing, U-Wing, A-Wing. Pick whichever fighter you need. Thinking which one I should use here. This one has just so a little hull. Know what we're gonna meet, so I usually like this one. Thank you. 
You're gonna like that. Let's go. to Imperial forces. Withdraw or be destroyed. We're in the fire now. Yeah. Time to end this. For the boss. What hell of a place to fight. I've never seen anything like it. Those Imperials better enjoy the view while they can. Did anyone else hear that? Probably just a calm glitch. Focus on the Star Destroyer. Okay, they missed their chance. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Get the subsystems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer like we're swatting a Minoc. What the heck? I couldn't even move? Even with the... Uh... Okay, they missed their chance. Eliminate that... We need to have that one. Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer, like we're swatting a Minoc. Watch out behind you! Focus fire on that target! Take out 
Star Destroyer's shield generators. That'll give you a clear shot at its systems. But how the heck is this tractor being such a bullshit one? Uh, not like the previous one where you can actually pull loose. In this one you can't do anything. You're like, you're stuck there. Eliminate that Star Destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer, like we're swatting a Minoc. So stupid and we actually so we went for the target and marked him. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that Star Destroyer like we're swatting a Minoc. I see him right behind us. Fire on my 
Freaking emitter is though. Yeah, shoot its emitter. Easy to say when it's okay. like you have they no missed. idea where it is. Fair chance. Eliminate that star destroyer so we can move the star hawk into position. Uh, any advice? Do not on? like how this track the being works. So really. to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that star destroyer like we're swapping mine hack. Don't worry, I got them. Hey, I knew I liked you. I'm with you. 
with you. Then all of a sudden I get like hammered with something. Okay. That's such a bullshit. Uh. A star destroyer so we can move the Starhawk into position. Uh, any advice, General? Hit the subsystems first to weaken it. Then strike with everything you've got. Just like that, huh? Eliminate that star destroyer. Like we're swatting a Minoc. Enemy is persistent. Thank <laughs> you. 
Best thing was stay away from it and just uh, tell them to attack it. Too late, huh? It's Linden. 
He's still alive. Targeted by everything again. I've got a tail. It's like so hard to see what is the bombers and what isn't. It's like you have to go through everything and like all okay. that. Corvettes, to tow the Starhawk into the moon and take out every damn Imperial ship in range. Then count me in. Let's finish this together. That doesn't work.
survive inside the Starhawk. I helped build it, and I was damn lucky. How's our Starhawk doing, Arthur? Mm -hmm. We're getting there. Wow. Oh. You can't get into that stupid tractor beam either because then you get like. You know, can't do shit. Corvettes. To throw the Starhawk into the moon and take out every damn Imperial ship in range. Then count me in. Let's finish this together. Exactly what it's gonna do. Thanks to Teresa, though I doubt she'd like the irony. 
this way. It's coming. We gotta outrun it. Go, go, go! I feel the shockwave out of my tail. Stay with oh, me. Oh, come on, you stupid thing. I can't be in your way. Oh, okay. Can't boost there. <laughs> Had no time to turn. This coming. We gotta outrun it. Go, go, go. Oh my god, what the heck is that ship going right into... This wave's coming. We gotta outrun it. Go, go, go. I feel a shockwave out of my tail. Stay with me. See that opening? Yikes, that was too close. Impressive five, sharp moves. Oh, come on. As soon as I just boost up a little bit, it all goes. That's where it's coming. We gotta mm. run it. Go, go, go. I feel the shockwave out of my tail. Stay with me. No room, no room. Kyo, see that opening? Yikes, that was too close. Impressive time, sharp moves. Can't move that debris. Dodge around. That hole's taking a beating. I got hit in the end, though. Beginning. Vanguard, punch it. You made it! Hope is like the sun. If you only believe in it when you can see it, you'll never make it through the night. We know our new Republic faces great challenges. But thanks to Vanguard Squadron, peace is closer than ever. General Sindula sacrificed one Starhawk for the chance to build a fleet. From Nadiri, Commander Jades will guide our best and brightest, forging the strength to challenge an empire. The war goes on. But we face it with renewed courage. Inspired by heroes who fly for freedom as we emerge from the darkness of Imperial oppression into the light of a new era.